now let's see this example show that for all x p of x or q of x is equal to for all x p of x or their existential x q of x this problem comes under inference theory of the predicate logic so here uh, in the left hand side we have for all x p of x or q of x whereas in the right hand side we have for all x p of x or their existential x q of x suppose in place of this their existential x if we have for all x then we can solve the problem directly very very easily so for all x p of x or for all x q of x but here their existential x is given so this is a special problem in order to solve this problem we have to use indirect method of proof so we shall use indirect method of proof to solve this problem indirect method of proof means we have to follow two steps step 1 is add negation conclusion to the existing premises so here what is the conclusion this is the conclusion so this is the conclusion so we have to add negation of this conclusion to the given premise so now we have two premises so this is first premise and second premise is negation of the conclusion the premises has to produce a contradiction has that as the result so here now we have two premises so this is premise one and negation of conclusion is the second premise so with the help of those two premises we have to pro produce contradiction contradiction means false as the result so if we produce false as the result then we can say that this is equal to that okay so now let us see the problem so here in order to solve this problem so first we need to introduce the second premise so that is nothing but negation of the conclusion so here here also we need to write four columns just like the preposition logic uh, premise theory inference theory first column represents premise number second column represents statement formula number third column represents premise whereas fourth column represent the formula which we are applying so premise number 1 next one statement formula number 1 so first we have to in, in, introduce this negation of the conclusion in the given problem so negation of so what is the conclusion for all x p of x or their existential x q of x so this is indirect method of proof in indirect method of proof what is the first step add negation conclusion to the given premises so we need to add negation of this conclusion for all x p of x or their existential x q of x so this is nothing but new premise which is introduced in the derivation process so we can call this as rule p so here also we will use all prepositional logic rules only like rule p rule t equivalence law and implication law in addition to that we will use uh, uh, specialization and generalization laws okay next we have a formula this is the form of de morgan law negation of p or q let us assume that this is p this is q so negation of p or q means negation p and negation q we can apply that formula so here we are performing operations on the first premise only this is statement formula number 2 so here what is the formula negation p so p means for all x p of x negation p and negation q what is q their existential x q of x so this is which rule this is rule t and what is the formula we have applied what is the formula negation of p r q is equal to negation p and negation q logically equivalent to negation p and negation q on which statement formula number on second one on second one okay next here we are performing operation on the first premise only next statement formula number is 3 so if you observe here let us assume that this is p and this is q so if we have p and q then we can write the result as p as well as q okay so this is nothing but rule t only rule t only we have a formula called p and q implied p on which statement formula number second one second one so what is the result of p and q p so what is p now this is p 
So negation for all x p of x. Okay. So here we have negation for all x p of x. So now we can imp now we can apply the negation law. So rule t negation law. What is negation law? Negation of p equal to negation p. We can write like that. Okay. So negation of for all x is nothing but negation of for all x is nothing but their existential x. Their existential x. We can write this as negation p of x. So here what is the statement formula number? Here we are performing on the third one. So third one. Okay. So statement formula number is fourth one. We are performing operation on the first premise only. So their existential x negation p of x. Okay. So likewise, from p and q, we can obtain q as the result. Okay. So rule t from p and q, we can obtain q as the result. And statement formula number this this is nothing but second one. So this is p, this is q. So p and q means we can write as q also. So now what is q here? Negation. Their existential x q of x. So this is nothing but statement formula number five. Premise number one only. We are performing the operation. Next we can apply the negation law. So rule t apply the negation law. So we can write as negation of p equal to negation p on the statement formula number five. Five. So negation of their existential x is nothing but for all x, and we can write as negation q of x. So what is the statement formula number six? And the premise number is one. Okay. So if we observe here, here we have their existential x negation p. Now let us eliminate this existential quantifier. So for eliminating quantifiers, we have two rules. First one is rule U S. Second one is rule E S. U S stands for universal specification. E S stands for existential specification. Here let us first eliminate this existential quantifier. So for that we have a rule called rule E S, existential specification. So with the help of that we can eliminate this existential quantifier and the statement formula number four. So now what will happen is we can eliminate this quantifier and in place of this variable we have to substitute some other variable. So now we will get negation p of y, negation p of y. Statement formula number is seven, premise number is one. So likewise here, if we see this one here, we have to eliminate universal quantifier. In order to eliminate the universal quantifier, we have to use rule U S, universal specification, on the statement formula number six. Six. So now what will happen is this existential quantifier will be eliminated. In place of this x, we have to substitute some other variable. So negation Q of y. Statement formula number is eight. Premise number is eight. Premise number is one. So here we have p and this is q. So we can write the result as p and q. So now we can apply rule t. So what is the formula here? P comma q implied p and q. So now what is p? Negation p of y. And what is q? Negation q of y. So premise number is nine. A statement formula number is nine. Premise number is one. So this is in the form of a negation p and negation q. So we can apply the De Morgan law. We can apply the De Morgan law now. So rule T. So what is the De Morgan law? Negation P and negation Q equal to equal to negation of P R Q. Negation of P R Q. So we can write this as negation of P of Y or Q of Y. So negation of P R Q equal to negation P and negation Q. So this is nothing but tenth, and the premise number is one. So now we have negation of p of y or q of y. If we observe here, this is the first premise. So let us introduce that premise now. So 10 is over. So the next premise number is 11, and the statement formula number is also 11. Let us introduce this premise. So for all x, for all x, p of x or q of x. So this is nothing but rule p, a new premise which is introduced in the problem. So now what we have to do is we have to eliminate this for all quantifier. How to eliminate universal quantifier? We can apply rule U S. We can apply rule U S. So on eleventh one. So now this quantifier will be eliminated. In place of x, we have to substitute some other variable. So p of y or q of y. P of y or q of y. So twelfth one. 
So premise number is here we are performing operations on the 11th one only. So if you see here, here we have P of Y or Q of Y. Let us assume that this is P. P. Then what will happen? Negation of P of Y or Q of Y. That will become negation P. So this is in the form of P negation P. We have a formula called P and negation P is nothing but false. So now we need to apply rule T. Here the formula is P and negation P equal to false. Let us assume that P of Y or R Q of Y is P value. Then it will become negation P. So P and negation P is nothing but false. So we can obtain false as the result. So we can write like this. P of Y or Q of Y. So here what is the formula? If we have two premises, then we can write as P and negation P. Let it be P and this is negation P. So we can write this as negation of P of Y or Q of Y. So 13th one. Here we are performing operations on the 11th premise only. So what is the result of this one? False. So we got false. Contradiction is nothing but false. So we got false as the result. So we can say that this LHS is nothing but RHS. So in this way we can solve this problem easily. Okay. So please uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. As well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.